hey everybody it is Yishan here and uh this past friday i went to a locals about a about a 30 person locals i would say and um, we played four rounds i went 4-0 uh ended up first place got myself uh 40 of store credit and uh the deck i used was trap tricks i like to call it otk trap tricks i've seen a lot of deck profiles on youtube and i uh, I, I took them, I learned from them, and I want to add my own little spin to it. So this is sort of what I came up with, a little uh, a trap tricks that can actually kind of surprise your opponent with some pretty cheesy OTKs. You might ask, Ishan, what did you play against? What did you buy with your prizing? What did I play against? I played against um, two labyrinths, one trap tricks, and one dark world. So I'll sort of talk about how the cards performed in those matchups. What did I get with my prizing? Well, I got three of these bad boys. I figured if you're going to win a local with a structure deck, what you do with your prizing, you buy more structure decks. So look forward to a Dark World deck profile coming to uh, theaters near you soon. But without further ado, let's get into the OTK Trap Tricks deck. So uh, let's start off with the main deck. Main deck is, uh, in most Trap Trick decks, they're, they're pretty straightforward. You want to play all the best normal summon trap tricks that I'm pretty you gotta max out three of each because you you you're always normally a trap tricks all your good hands you normal a trap tricks you want to get a good effect so you have three Pudica, three mantis and three mermelio um so basically this adds a whole trap card this adds the field spell and then this adds a monster so really really good mantis uh if you don't already have like a good play in your hand you can add arachno campa this card is pretty solid of course it doesn't have a normal summon effect but if you grab it off mantis you can trigger the trap tricks monster effect with sarah because uh, her effect is that it lets you like just special it but it activates in hand and it also protects your um it protects your spell and traps the first time they would be destroyed that effect hasn't been coming up as much for me but mainly because of um because everyone's playing evenly i mean that's just what people are doing right now evenly is all the rage so the, the protection effect comes up once in a while but really it's there for as an extender and to search off mantis turn one um I actually think playing three of this card is totally fine, but I am playing some spice in the extra deck that is not insect or plant, which this does lock you into in terms of extra deck summons. So one thing to be aware of there. Um, so we have the Arachnocampas. And then the last trap tricks, two Dianea. Um, again, it's not the greatest normal summon, but it has a, a special summon effect, which um, lets you... So a normal summon just reborns a trap tricks. Special summon effect, it sets a whole spell or trap from your deck uh, or from your graveyard to the field. That's really good because a lot of times when you use Holtea, the condition to activate is discard a normal trap, so you can just reset a trap hole that you already discarded. Um, so it's sort of like you didn't lose any advantage at all. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess I can go over a couple of the other specials, like the other effects. Mantis is just a quick effect to reset it like bounce a trap to your hand basically is plays around like evenly and stuff and also triggers sarah whenever you want pudica is a very important special summon effect it actually just banishes a monster a special summon monster your opponent controls and then they get to special summon a monster during their next standby phase if they choose to um a lot of cool combos with this i'll go i'll go over some more later but this sort of helps this is one of the reasons I played like an OTK version because the monster does come back. So if you can't kill your opponent, they're getting the monster back and, and they're getting follow-up. So important to actually be able to kill your opponent. And then my Melio, if you don't already know, pops a spell and trap, mandatory effect on summon. So even if your opponent doesn't have a spell or trap, that'll trigger anyway. And that helps with uh, triggering your Sarah effect. So that's it for all the trap tricks. So those are the best ones. All the ones are not that great. Um next best card in the deck is a uh, triple parallel seed. I mean, this card is just totally broken because um, you're always linking in a Sarah basically every turn. And this can make trap tricks succeed that trigger Sarah. It can make Rafflesia. It can make redo, or it can make, you know, other rank force trying to make Zeus. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that uh, just so, so good. I would always play three and then for hand traps, three nib nib is okay. This format, but the main reason you're playing it is because you can't a lot of times you you want to stop your opponent but you also want to clear their board because again this deck has trouble clearing boards so that's why i'm playing the nib here um just it's a hand trap that clears boards uh of course it wasn't very good for me because i played against three trap decks and then the one time i drew it against dark world they kind of bricked a little but um 
I still think it's a solid choice. You know, you're not always going to be playing against three trap decks. And then last hand trap, uh, three ash, just really, really good. Okay, so the spice is in the spell. Okay, we play the one garden, really, really good. Um, to search off the Pudica, and then I play one double or nothing. This is the OTK portion of the deck. We're using Utopia Double here, uh, which is basically just a rank four deal 10k damage. Um, this deck needs, I feel like, needs something like that. I, I feel like I'm maybe one of the few players that are playing this right now, if not the only one. Um, but it's definitely something I'd recommend trying. Obviously, if you draw it, it sucks. But um, it's, I think it's really, really strong in the deck. I cheesed out a win and, and OTK'd like about three times yesterday. So it was really, really good. Um, and then for the trap holes, you played three hole tail, which is the best. It specials itself and then banishes from grave to special back. Just so, so strong. Being able to activate any time to trigger Sarah when you want is really important. The trap holes, they're okay. I play, I only play four other ones. I play two floodgate because it's a cash format, one grave diggers for hand traps, and then one trap strikes trap hole nightmare because for solemn strike, basically. You could try to throw in bottomless here as well because uh, you can't beat Fallen of Albaz um, because you need like bottomless to, to get rid of it. But other than that, um, yeah, like I, I tried something else instead of more trap holes, I played three torrential. Now this card was only oak, like it was fine. Like it wasn't good or bad, but honestly these could have been three trap holes and my result the weekend would have been the same. So still some more testing to be done. I think Terrors of the Underroot is also a really good card because I want traps that I can just activate and that are not reactive. There's already so many reactive traps in this deck that I kind of just want cards that I can just activate. And um, maybe like Terrors of the Underroot is a good one. Uh, final important stuff, three evenly, three imperm. I mean, evenly has synergy with the deck because it's a normal trap. You can just discard for Holtea and also good going second and then uh, imperm because it's imperm kind of with the same reasons as above. Okay, let's go extra deck real quick because I think it's where some of the spices are. Uh, three Sarah, of course, so broken. One Adipus. This is like, helps you pop stuff. It, it, like you use this if you're locked, basically. You use this to ODK if you're locked. It just gives your monsters a lot of attack and can pop some cards. And then one Asa just, it hasn't come up for me yet, but I think it will come up. I don't know. I also want to consider playing Lingaribo. It came up a couple times in the trap matchups that I want to actually take a parallel exceed and turn it into a Lingaribo to negate traps. Um, last link too, I just didn't other play that didn't bother to play the Trap Tricks Link to. I just didn't think it was very good. But Pendastag, this is a, a combo with Utopia Double because a lot of times you're using Floodgate Trap Hole to flip your opponent's monsters in defense or they just have a defense position monster. Pendastag lets you OTK straight through that. Not an issue at all. So I really, really like that. Um, it's not necessary, but it's kind of, it's so fun. Unfortunately, it's Cyber's not Insect. Um, but yeah, it gives piercing basically to Utopia Double or Utopia, which will have 5 10k attack basically. Two Reflesia, I, I don't usually summon two ever, but um, it's kind of good. Uh, one Alamaris, this card is like sketchy because it's really only for OTKing, but we already play so many cards for the OTK anyway. It came up once yesterday in a very, very strange situation, but basically it lets you turn two Trap Trixes into two stronger Trap Trixes because it has 2200 attack, and it can special summon like Marmelio from Grave to force a pop on the spell and trap, which is nice if you want to maybe loop Marmelio more than once per turn, but... It's like sketchy, like if it's good or not, I'm not sure. I always want to play two ping, but, but I couldn't find the space. Um, but this card is so good, especially with Pudica, because Pudica banishes. And this has an effect where if a monster is banished or sent to grave by card effect, you can attach it. So they don't get to special that monster back, which is huge sometimes. That came up from yesterday. Redoer, so broken in this deck because of Holtea. And then the Utopia double package with the Utopia and Utopia double. And then the last two cards were one Exiton Knight and one Zeus. Uh, Zeus came up for me even though it was just actually stall against a skill drain against um, Labyrinth, and then Exiton Knight didn't come up for me. Maybe it could be Lingaribo instead. Uh, I'm not sure. Side deck, pretty straightforward. I think all these Trap Tricks side decks are playing Lancia for good reason. It's good against decks like Dark World. Uh, it also stops evenly. I, I took out Imperm and put in three Lancia going first against um, Labyrinth, and I really didn't regret it at all. I just stopped evenly with it. It can stop Pod as well. Um, so... Very, very strong. I think, you know, they're always potting for six to look for evenly anyway. So, like, you just, you know, having a counter to it is really strong. Um, and then I played Mind Control, Harpies, Change. I mean, this is good against the back row decks. But these two are really, really good in the mirror. They're mainly for the mirror, actually. I see a lot of Trap Tricks running around because it's such a cheap deck. You just Mind Control their Xyz, their Trap Tricks Xyz, psh, turn it into your own Sarah. I mean, that's like GG, basically. So strong if you can do that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really where that's where I, I took a page out of Andres Taurus. Thank you, Andres, for that one. 
I play three lightning storm. I just you can play cosmic, but I think you want the board breaker power. You want to just wipe everything with this deck. You don't want to do this. You just want to get into simplified game states. So I can destroy monsters. I can destroy spell and traps. I like it a lot. A lot of times you just end up with no face up cards. If even if you, so, even if I'm going first, I'm putting three of this in against labyrinth, um, and then triple judgment and triple D barrier um, just for going first. Just kind of nothing to really say there. So that is my Trap Tricks deck. Um, it was a lot of fun to play. I feel like I still have a lot to learn with the deck. I feel like I'm not very good at it, but um, yeah, I think, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, you know, like and comment and subscribe. You got, you, got it, you got to respect these three guys in the extra deck, right? I mean, come on, that deserves a like or a subscribe. And we're, we're getting close to 10K. So yeah, if you could, I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, guys, I will see you all in the next video.